Started? Yeah, you're on. Oh, hi, yeah. It's me and Drew just chattering away. I forgot you pressed the button to say we were going. <laughs> hi, everybody. How you doing? New week. It's a Monday. So, uh, and we're a new month as well, aren't we? May Day. I fuck, I've got, totally forgot to mention that the other day. So, how are you all doing? Everybody coming online? Yeah, Sean here. Day? Lovely. Hi, Sean. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. So, I've got all the windows open and the door to get some air through. Uh, but they're filling all the, the holes in the road outside, so it's really noisy. So I've had to shut the windows back up so you guys can hear me, <laughs> which is just typical, isn't it? Um, so we're going to be doing another block today. Um, but I thought I'd just... Oh, um, the masterclass, the Zoom masterclass went on sale this morning at 9 o'clock. Um, we had six people um, buy it straight away, so there's only two spaces left. That was That's as of now they might be gone by the time this is over with so there were only two spaces left so if you did want to do that masterclass with us um grab those last couple of spaces okay because they're um that's on sale now and it's on the website you can only do it through the website you need to go on and there's a whole section there called zoom masterclass and you can buy it okay but there are only two spaces left on that so thank you everybody who uh, managed to get a space so far uh which is fab thank you uh for for joining us and We've sent the kits out, the kits went out in the post this morning um, to you guys and um, all the rest of the like instructions will go out a couple of days beforehand. Okay, but we'll be in touch, we've got all your numbers. So, um, so we're going to do another block today. Um, this one's a slightly unusual block, it's called, um, a class, it's called the Classic Art Square block and it's got a very large centre panel. Okay, can you see that guys? Hopefully you can. Okay, so it's got a very large centre panel with this these little background triangles that sort of seem to go like they're behind it. Now, this is an ideal block if you've got a really large print fabric or something that you, know, you want to fussy cut and really focus in on, on that centre piece. If you don't, in fact I'd love to see some variations that you guys come up with, um, <clears throat> you could do all sorts in this. You could make, uh, you could do it as a four patch. You could do a checkerboard, you could do anything as long as it comes up to nine inches square before you put it in, okay? So there's lots of things you could do to play with that middle bit. I've chosen, because this is quite a biggish print, these boats from this Janet Clare fabric, I've chosen to um, to keep it, I'm going to put it flat so Drew can get it, I've chosen to keep it quite big on this one. Um, also because it's um, a square that's put on point, I'm going to show you, I haven't cut another one yet, I've cut the other pieces but I haven't cut another one yet because I want to show you how you would look at your fabric because you can't just cut a normal nine inch square if you've got directional because then when we put it on point everything be on the wonk, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to show you how to cut that. So for this block you're going to need four three and a half inch squares from your background fabric, you're going to need four four inch squares of different fabrics so they could be the same but then I think it's quite nice to use you could use up some of your scrappy bits the, these become the the triangles around the side okay so you want four four inches okay and then you're going to need one nine inch for the center okay and that's what I'm going to show you I haven't cut it because I want to show you how I work out how to get everything straight okay so who's there anybody anybody there anybody so online left we've got Linda we've got Jenny We've got Nikki, Carl. Grace, Gina, oh. Jane, okay. and Heather. Oh, Kate here as well. Dawn, okay. Sheila. Oh, lots and lots of people. you. Ooh. Fab. Ooh. <laughs> knocked it. Oh, did you just nearly... I knocked it as I was... You nearly stopped the feed then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how I would cut a nine-inch square. It does waste a bit more fabric, but if you're using a directional fabric and you want it to be the right way round... Okay, I'm just going to quickly on that crease that in a bit. Um, this is how I would do it. So it's back to the old rulers, okay? I'm back to that 45 degree line. So this needs to be nine inches. So first thing I want to do is find my nine inch line and my nine inch line and where they join, which is just there, okay? So I want to be aware of those two lines, okay? And you also want your 45 degree line here, okay? Know where that is, all right? So if, because it's gonna be a square that is turned onto point, that 45 degree line is your straight line down the center of your, your fabric. So I want to put, because I want my ships to be all, you know, the right way around, I'm gonna put my 45 degree line down the grain of the fabric, okay? 
and then I want to look at where that nine inch and nine inch are okay now this was quite a big piece of fabric all right but it's if you haven't got enough width on it it's quite difficult to do this because you imagine if this was you know, let me just make this slightly smaller okay it looks like you know you've got easily got nine inches there but when you return it and I go down my nine and down my nine you can see I have not got enough fabric okay it's a weeny bit wasteful this method but you will use the scraps and other bits but if you've got that directional fabric cutting it on point so that it sits right is so much easier so 45 degree line on my ruler I'm going to get that in line with my ships okay and then I want to check so I'm going to move this corner as close to the top as I can there's my nine inch there and my nine inch there and I'm going to cut down so I'm just going to have to stand up Drew if you can stay focused and I'll move round okay so hand nice and flat and I'm going to cut up that side and up that side okay so I've cut just down a bit bigger than the nine inch for now okay and those you see when you're doing another block you'll be able to cut like a what will you get like a three and a half inch out of those so don't waste those it's just it seems a bit wasteful at this point and then I'm going to take that corner there and I'm going to turn it now and now I can do hopefully you guys can see it my nine by nine like that okay so I've now got my nine by nine there and the 45 is still running along with the pattern and then I would cut up there and across there okay so I've got a nine inch square so if I just come back around here guys so you can see <clears throat> so I've cut a nine inch square which is what I need for the center panel but when it goes on to point my ships are at least the right way round this time okay hopefully that made sense does everybody okay with that are you all right um, with that yeah I don't know said anything just yet no nope? okay cool so nine inch of a large fabric or or again as long as you've got something that finishes at nine inches you could you know you could do a checkerboard or something you could do four squares together whatever you like really but I think it's quite nice sometimes you've got those big fabrics you can use four four the four four inch squares we're going to cut that in half okay so we've got triangles so I'm just going to line these up like this okay and then I'm going to cut them corner to corner you can do it singly if you want I'm just doing it quickly <laughs> okay like that and we're going to sew them on to these three and a half inch squares because what we're going to be doing is making these little corner units Okay, like that so we're going to be making this little corner unit now there is obviously a pattern available on our website um, it's all written up I will put that on this afternoon for you which will be two pound okay um, so if you do need uh, do need the written instructions they will be available so I'm going to choose two colors doesn't matter which I'm going to go with these two to start with I think okay like that so I've got the two in the navy and the two in that and I'm just gonna because I want them in opposite pairs so we're gonna get rid of that one there okay right I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it to myself and then I'm gonna turn around okay <clears throat> right so Sandra so are all those squares different colors yes the four four inches are all different colors they don't have to be but um, if you want it to get that that colored effect round like that then you want them to be four different colors okay the background squares are just all the same so you've got three and a half four three and a half inch squares in your background fabric so right the first triangle we want to put on so this is facing you guys so you're going to line up the right angle with the right angle of the top right of the square okay like that so your edges are lined up and your excess is over okay I'm gonna grab some pins and then we're gonna stitch down the right hand edge okay it's really important that we you do it this in the right um, way otherwise your corner units won't look like corner units okay so I'm gonna do that again so I'm gonna line up with my top right hand corner so this is facing you okay so it's upside down for me <laughs> 
top right hand corner and I'm going to sew and I tend to put I tend to pin the edge that I'm going to sew to remind me when I get to the sewing machine so if I put the pin in there I'm going to sew that edge and that edge okay I'm going to put these other two aside for now and then the other two colors you've got okay I want it those two and I'm going to put these two exactly the same on these two squares so top right hand corner line up like that we've got a couple of pins oh there we go oh couldn't find the pins then they've gone a bit wonky and then again i can put the pin in on the line that i'm going to sew okay and again on this side top right hand corner like that so how is everybody everybody okay you all all right natalie ellis said she's gonna have to catch up later because she needs to do some work fair enough lovely remember i stick all of these onto youtube so you can re-watch me for <laughs> if you really have to <laughs> okay right we're gonna take these to the sewing machine now oh hang on let me move all my stuff and i've got it out of the way okay so i'm now going to sew down that right hand edge remember where the pin is and you just can use a quarter of an inch and I'm just going to chain piece these down. Where's my pedal? There you go. So, while I'm doing that, talk to me ladies, how are you all doing? Have anybody done anything exciting yesterday? What did you do with your Sundays? Anybody, uh, it was quite, it was quite cold here actually, the sun was out, but it wasn't, it wasn't a particularly bright day. We did another Zoom quiz on Saturday night, which was uh, really good fun again, which was very hilarious. And uh, then we had um, our Modern Quilt Guild um, meeting. We did a, a Zoom meeting for that then as well yesterday, which was lovely to see some of the ladies. They'd all, uh, <coughs> some of them uh, braved technology <laughs> and, uh, and joined us, which was lovely. It was nice to see some faces again because... Uh, we were, we're missing people not being in the shop. <laughs> okay, so I've just sewn down a quarter of an inch on the right hand edge of all of those. And now I'm going to press them out. And you want to press them towards the triangle. Now you've got a bias edge here because you've cut it. Oh, oh it's going on outside the house. You've got a bias edge there, okay? So you want to make sure you, you don't, don't iron too heavily. Just, I did starch them before I went, but just a gentle press, okay? So I'm going to do that on all of them. Any comments there, Drew? Uh, we had Linda said the Zoom was good yesterday. Yeah, uh, it's been fun, wasn't it? Did, uh, Gina did um, work in the garden. Nice. Marion, um, I made some bunting for VE Day. Oh, lovely. Yeah, because that's coming up on Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Emma did some bunting as well for VE Day. Oh, lush. Uh, then Sean said the M MG, sorry, MQG Zoom meeting was fun. It was. It was lovely, wasn't it? It was really nice to see everybody. And Jenny okay. said, I, need, I will need some matching fabric to go with the fat quarters I've been using. I'm running low. All right, okay. Just give me a call, lovely, when you're ready, okay? So, you should now have four little units that look like that. Okay, can you see? Look like this. We're now going to add on the other sides, okay? So I'm going to put these ones with these ones, just because I fancy it. And this time you're going to line, right, again, I've got to do this upside down. So you're going to line them at the bottom left, okay? So you're line, going to line that up, with, corner with the corner, okay? And can you see it comes right over this one? And this time you're going to stitch the bottom edge here, okay? So I'm going to put a pin towards the bottom edge because I'm doing that edge there. So again, I'm going to do bottom left like that. There we go. And we're going to pin there. And then the same with these the other two colors, okay? So we're going to go in like that, make sure that's lined up. And you should have plenty overlapping, okay? We are going to square them up in a moment, but you can you see you've got quite a lot overlapping this one. Right, again, so we're going to pin that one there, and then the last one here. So it's the, looking this way. I'm going to put this in the bottom left corner. And we're going to pin, we're going to sew that bottom edge there. Okay, so back to the sewing machine with that bit. Cool. 
Sandra said she's lovely hearing different voices. Yes, it was, wasn't it? It was really nice to see everybody and uh, yeah, definitely. And just you know, just catching up with people as well because we've uh, we do miss our customers because they're you know some some of them are some really good friends of ours now as well. It's lovely, lovely to see people. So it was a. Uh, Missing a lot of things of actually about this fight with this virus thing still going on. We've got those how long it's going to be before we're open again, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> and Kate said we've been fighting with brambles that have kept into a uh, crept into our garden. So. Uh, oh, you don't want to look at my front garden at the minute. It's horrendous. I need to get the boys out there with the with them secateurs and axes. I think because they're horrendous in the front garden at the moment. They seem to have gone crazy the last last week or so uh, i think it's all that it's that all that rain we had and then sunshine again it encourages it all to grow far too quickly <laughs> there we go so i've just done those ones and then again just going to press those out there we go okay so um what we're going to do tomorrow i'm just just while i'm just doing this i'm just thinking about what we're doing tomorrow so tomorrow we're going to do some free motion embroidery so we're going to do just some little pieces, OK, just so that you guys can have a little go and see what it's all about. Um, but I'm going to show you sort of the settings you need to put onto your machine. Um, you, you do need a, a foot for it. You need a darning foot. But I'm going to go through all that tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to do some free motion embroidery. And then uh, Wednesday we've got block of the month. Um, and I've got a really lovely one, actually. It's it's. Uh, um, it's called, uh, well, the traditional name for it is called the Dove in the Window, um, but it's really pretty, really, really nice. It's, there's some little pieces in the centre, but I think it's time you guys had a bit of a challenge. So, so we're going to have a go at that one. And then Sarah's going to make a peg bag on Thursday, and then it's bank holiday weekend, isn't it? Because it's VE day on Friday, so um, we're going to have a couple of days off. We're going to, um, we're not going to have any phone orders, and we're not going to do any lives for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then we'll be back with a vengeance on Monday. <laughs> I've got, a, I've had loads of ideas of things I want to show you. So, uh, so be warned. <laughs> right. Okay. You want to square these up just a little bit. Okay. Um, you can get away with not squaring them up, but if you want your points to meet the centre square, it's worth doing this little, little, um, this little bit here. So, what I want to do is I'm going to turn it this way so hopefully you guys can see this. My quarter inch line on this ruler here, okay, I want that to sit right on that point there. So I'm giving myself a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, Drew, can you sit? Hopefully you guys can see this, okay? The other thing I want to check is, could you see my 45 degree line here on my ruler? If I line that up with the edge of the fabric and move it around until I get it so that that's correct there. Can you see the 45 is along the edge of the fabric and my quarter inch is on the point there. I can trim all this off and I've trimmed it off evenly. If you don't do the 45 there, it's very easy, even though the quarter inch is here, can you see that you could you could be really wonky with it. So that's your extra little check. So pop your quarter of an inch here on the point and then line the 45 line up with the edge. Okay, so you want to move it around until they both sit right so this one's now sitting right so I've got my 45 on the edge and my quarter inch is sat right on the point and I'm just going to trim off that weenie bit there okay it's not a lot but if that's on every one of your block and every one of your units it will make a difference okay if you don't care that's absolutely fine but it's one of those things that again I've said to you before I hate squaring up I absolutely hate it but it does make a world of difference when you do it to your blocks. Everything goes together so much easier. So there you go. There's my 45 is along the edge of the fabric. My quarter of an inch is in on the point and I'm trimming off. And you will need to trim a little bit off. OK, it will stretch because you're working with bias edge, edges. It will stretch. You can see that, you know, the the. I don't know if you can see the size difference there. You know, the cream is, is stretched just a little bit more than the than the navy. So it's worth doing. Okay, so I'm just going to do the other four before we put it all together. Right. So any comments? Anybody anybody there, Drew? Uh, Janet Britt say love that heart and stars quilt behind you. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous this. Yeah, when you guys when when the your group are back up and running and uh, you can come back into the shop, maybe that's one of the projects we'll do if everybody wants to. 
And then we said, Marion said we played bingo on WhatsApp yesterday with the family. Ah, cool! <laughs> thought about doing a bingo the the saturday night quiz that um we're doing um they've asked me to do like a generation game style thing where i teach a craft you know a crafty project with stuff around the house and uh, they've all got like five minutes to do the same thing like uh, like they used to on the generation game so right those are all uh there we go Ooh, sorry i'm getting all this out of the way those are all now squared up and these are now going to sit round this centre, uh, your centre square, okay? So it would have been like that, but because we cut it, it's on the other way, okay? So I'm going to take two the same. So I've got these two first, okay? And they're going to sit on opposite sides of the square, like that, okay? Now you want them to be centralised, so the easiest way, fold this in half, like that, and just crease the edge, just to find the centre. And then when you pin them on, you're going to use that centre crease there with the centre of the point, like that. Okay, so you've got the same amount either side. I'm just going to pop one pin just in the centre just to hold it in place if I take it to the sewing machine. And again, hopefully you guys can see this. So my centre point there is going right up against the centre crease, like that. And then... In we go. And I'm going to stitch those down and then we'll do the other sides. Okay, okay so we'll just line that back up a second. There we go. And Sarah's busy over the shop uh, finishing off uh, a couple of the Hachanda orders that have come in over the weekend. So she's been busy over there. We've had lots and lots come through the website as well, so she's been lots to do today. I'm just going to get my cup of tea out of the way because uh, I was going to end, gonna end no, I know, so I think the fabric was heading towards it. <laughs> so I'm going to get fabric dipped tea. So, there we go, line this one up. Oh, come on. There we go, didn't want to work then. So, so I'm going to go down this side. Any comments there, Drew? Well, I'm just doing this little bit Not here. since Marion said about her being yeah. over. You're all very quiet today. What's going on? You're only chattering backwards and forwards. <laughs> or is it because this is making sense and you don't need to ask me lots of questions? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to iron that out. And I want to iron it out. I'm going to iron it towards the centre square. because, Or press it, rather. Just because, again, the bulk of this, you want it towards the centre. Okay. Like that. And I would normally always press from the front, but it's just because I've only got the little ironing board, it's uh, just a weeny bit easier just to do it on the back for now. There we go. So, and out like that. And now we're going to put these ones on. Okay, so the opposite corners. So this one goes on like that. And again, I'd find the centre. So I'm just going to line that up like that and find the centre there. Just little, put a little finger crease in, and again with this side, line it up like that, little centre crease, and away we go. So what, I can't remember what number block this is actually. What ones have you done girls? I can't remember. So this must be about the 8th or ninth different block? No, it might be more than that now, because we've done 6 block of the week, haven't we? Or is it 7? And there's some extra ones as well. You've probably got enough for a quilt by now, it's going to be a massive quilt longer. <laughs> Gonna have to start making two. <laughs> there we go. Yes, I have lost track of how many weeks we've even been in lockdown. <laughs> I know, I know, it really has the lost track. I did um see Gina's variations the other day and uh which were beautiful. She's done some if so ladies if you go onto our Facebook page and look at the visitor posts, um Gina's done loads of variations using the same units, you know, the same pieces and uh sort of moving them around and all. She's done some really, really fab variations definitely worth looking at for a, a bit of inspiration. There we go, right the way across. Just making sure that's all nice and tucked down. Oh, something's got caught there. Oh, what's happened there? Ugh, silly threads. Here we go. Thread caught in the, the guide. 
and then just quickly whiz down the other side and the block's done. So it's a really nice quick block, particularly if you were making lots of them, if you wanted to do this all over a quilt. Very, very quick because you, you could make all the corner units and then it would go together quickly. Um, and I do think it's a really lovely one for showcasing a big, big print. But if you don't have any big prints that you, you know, that you want to showcase, play around with that, that centerpiece. As long as it ends up nine and a half before you put it in, you can do whatever you like. That's weird. What's I that, just have like ten comments all coming at once. Ah, uh, I think we might have had a bit of a thing on the on the um, on the Wi-Fi because we're in it. we've just had a massive load of comments come through. So Drew's just going to flick through them a second and see if there's any questions there. Mm. Sandra said she's made eleven blocks. Eleven, cool. Uh, maybe you don't. Yeah, it must be about eleven, mustn't it? Mary said, I Mary said I love the fabric you're using. Thank you. This is um it's Janet Clare. Um this is the ebb well, I'm mixing two of her ranges. Some of it's ebb and flow, which is a recent one, and then some of it is origami. But um we will have more of her stuff coming in actually, because it's it is lovely fabrics. Uh, Heather said her auction uh, fabric arrived today. Oh brilliant, well done. Oh, there we go. Jenny asked, if you make the centre square uh, from little blocks, how would, how big would uh, that have to be? No, as long as it ends up at nine inches. So um, if you did a four patch, it would be four, five inches, which when you join them together and you lose your seam allowance would end up at nine inches. As long as that centre square is nine inches when it's finished, doing whatever you're going to do, it needs to be nine inches to sit in there. Okay, so you could just join some strips together, you know, and then cut it down to nine, nine by nine. Uh, Janet asked you, uh, she, she loves the fabric with the ships. Do you have any in the shop? We've got um, quite a bit of the navy ships. I think we've only got about half a metre or so of the cream with the ships left now. Um, yeah, but there is, there's about four or five metres of the navy version, which actually I've got here. Two seconds. There we go. Okay, so we've got the the navy version of this, and I think yeah, I think there is only about a m half a meter, maybe three quarters of a meter of the cream left. Um, but we have got some. Give us a call, okay, if you if you want it. And then Liz asks, should, should the center block be nine or nine and a half? Nine, nine inches, because it ends up at eight and a half for your seam allowances. So you want it is nine. Uh, it's because of how it goes on point that then turns up. That then becomes a 12 and a half. So it's nine like that, but because we're turning it, adding these, it ends up as 12 and a half. Okay. But again, written instructions are on the website. Well, they will be in about 20 minutes. <laughs> um, the pattern's on the website, which has got all the all the um, the cutting instructions and all on there. Okay. So so there, that's the that's the art square block. Okay, which again, I I think well, you can see if you start putting them together, you get actually get all these lovely. We'll just turn that one so you've got different ones together. There we go. And you see, you get all these little like hourglassy bits happening as well. If you did the did lots of them, you know, you'd end up with all sorts of uh, different bits. You don't necessarily have to do background fabric here. You could do different fabrics in here as well. You could make it that it's background and you've appliqued or embroidered into this bit and play with the play with the fabric. So lots and lots of variations on this one. Lots you can do. Suzanne says, I love the ships and the navy. I like the ships and the navy. Yeah, too. it's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. I kind of they kind of feel almost like ghost ships, like you know, they're sailing at night time. You've got like that sort of shadow shadow happening. I do like like Janet Clare fabrics. They are um yeah, they're lovely. They're, she's got a really, really amazing eye for the, the design of fabrics. Really um. Gina Smith said, thank you, lovely, off to make a cake for the hubby and then have a play with this block. Cool. See you Wednesday. Absolutely. Ah, oh, fab, yeah. Yeah, show me your variations, Gina, because you do come up with some really nice ones. Uh, cool. Liz says, thank you. No um, problem. That's about it. Cool. Thank you, Doug. So that's, that's it for today then, ladies. Uh, we're back again tomorrow at one o'clock with some free motion embroidery. Um... And I'm going to show you, um, give you some hints and tips about how to get started and, and, and we're going to have a, have a little go at that, okay? Um, and then, yeah, that's it, I think. So we're back tomorrow at one. Um, Pat's on the website. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're all enjoying the weather. 
I'm going to go and open the windows again now, now I've finished filming. <laughs> because, uh, boy, is it noisy out there when they're doing these, uh, they're filling all the potholes potholes up. So, uh, so yeah, it's a bit noisy and it's a bit stuffy in it now, so I'm going to open the windows up. So, anyway, take care, ladies. Remember, there's only two classes left on the um, for the Zoom Masterclass. There's only two spaces left. So, um, well, they might have already gone by now, but there's only two left. So, um, yeah, stay safe, stay home, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.